The 2022.3 version of SA introduces what we call the Uncertainty Context Manager. And it's an alternative to our standard USMN or Unified Spatial Metrology Network solution for large networks. And it's an alternative way of looking at uncertainties for individual points. So what I'm going to do is zoom in here and take a look at the uncertainty of an individual point. And the way that SA has always done this in the past is if you go to its properties, you'll see that there is a certain number of samples generated. And what that does is build a uncertainty cloud around a measurement based upon the uncertainties of the instrument. And this is magnified, of course, but it gives you an idea of if a single reflector was in a position and you measured it with that instrument, you could potentially get any one of these individual cloud points because of the uncertainty in that associated position. Now, what we've done in this version is go a little bit further, and I'll go into the properties of this point, and now you'll see there's a new uncertainty covariance. And the covariance, this covariance matrix, is an alternative way of looking at uncertainties, and the covariance matrix can then be used for a mathematical approach to uncertainty and uncertainty calculations. Now, what's nice about that is not that it's better, but that it's simply a lot faster. So what we've done in the past with USMN is provide a really good way to model uncertainty. But for large networks, these uncertainty clouds are slow to compute and they take a lot of time. So what I want to do is give you a quick comparison of USMN and our new uncertainty context manager. So if you wanted to use the new tool, you would go under USMN. You'll see there's a new option. And this new option brings up a tree. And this tree is where you build your network. So you would go create new network. You can select what the reference frame is for the network, the instruments to include in it. And then you can also choose nominal reference groups if you want. Or, and you include what points to include. And you can name the network. And when you've done that, you've created an uncertainty network in this little uncertainty manager. And what's cool about that is if you close it and you go back to your um, USMN, you'll see it's still there. So you've actually saved the network and it allows you to reanalyze uh, and move things around and take a look at things as you want. And if you go to this network and right click and go to the solution interface, you'll see it looks very much like USMN. Um, with one very nice difference in that the uncertainties are already calculated. So you can solve this network very quickly and you get the full results and you get the uncertainty analysis all as one, one step. So if you do a comparison with USMN, so if I were to do a regular USMN, you have to select your instruments in the same way. You have to select what points to include and you'll see that the Solution is very similar. It's almost exactly the same. Um, but uncertainty is not something that comes for free. You have to solve the network, which takes a little bit of time. And then you have to begin the uncertainty field analysis. And this is where the process can really slow things down. And as you can see, this was a, not a really large network. It actually um, is a pretty small one in the scheme of things. And if you're dealing with uh, dozens or hundreds of instrument stations, then having to go through this process of building the uncertainty clouds for each point can be very, very tedious and take quite a bit of time. So this uncertainty calculation through the uncertainty context manager really gives you some great alternatives. And a couple of other things. So you have the ability to still right click on a point and access quite a bit more information. So you can get all the statistics. You can look at the uncertainty covariance for a visual point, the contributing shots, and the resulting contributing shots after the alignment has been made. So you have more details, and there's a number of things in here that just simply makes it simpler and more convenient to use. But in many ways, it's the same thing. You can still solve the network, and you can still apply the network. And I'm just going to go ahead and close the USMN as a comparison. And the other thing that we plan to do is this uncertainty context manager then can be used to add dependencies to it. So if you had a large network and you then wanted to, without modifying the original network, add additional stations or even combine two networks into the same one, you could. 
And the way that you really can take advantage of things is that the instrument station, so if I were to zoom in on a single instrument here, uh, and click on it, there we go, its properties now also includes a covariance matrix. And this matrix is updated when you apply a network solution, and then you suddenly have the ability to take advantage of the in uncertainty of the instrument base position for any post calculations. So this is also opening the door for us to continue to do even more advanced uncertainty modeling.